Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. This week, your key to the week is the Strength card. Are you looking after your physical health, your body and your vitality? If you are, excellent. If you're not, this might be the warning or not the warning, but certainly the heads up that you need to get back on that. Also, remember with the strength card, this week you're being asked to dive in. There's going to be something that comes up, whether it's an opportunity, whether it's an advancement, maybe it's even a conversation that comes up with a loved one or a child. There's something this week that requires you to jump in with both feet, even if you can't see what the end looks like, which is something that Capricorn's usually make sure they are aware of. There's something that requires guts this week, and this is something that I know you guys have in spades, but you're a lot more pragmatic than many of the other signs. But even still, this is a week for you to charge ahead. This is a week for you to find, summon, gather your strength, your courage, and just go for it. This is a week where you really just wanna be present, all right? Like, especially in your physical self as well. Like, pay attention to the physical body. Do you want more of what you're experiencing right now? Do you want less? Is there something that needs to be adapted or adjusted? This is a week for you to really be deeply rooted in your presence, but also to be deeply rooted in honesty and finding the courage or the guts to go after something that maybe you're a little afraid to have or to want. If you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your um, actions and options this week, you have the seven of pentacles, right? So whatever you're starting, it is a marathon, all right? It's not a sprint whatever you're jumping into it really is something for the long haul so this week you will be very aware of that and I think maybe that puts your mind at rest or ease it's like okay I'm starting this yes it requires that big push but actually it'll unfold or unpack over time which is where you do some of your best work even though you're a cardinal sign there's no such there's no other sign as far as I'm concerned there's no other sign that does finishing things better than you guys it's actually one of the things that I envy the Capricorn energy is like that ability to say you know what I'm gonna make sure that I see this through it's something that I when I look at my Capricorn sisters when I look at my you know heaven rest him my Capricorn grandfather all of the Capricorns that I read for Oh my gosh, like it's the one thing when I look at you guys, I'm like, yeah, that's what, what everyone needs more of. Well, certainly me anyway. Um, and I envy you that, right? This week, I think that's what's going to put your mind at rest. That it's like, okay, yes, it was really scary to embark on this, but actually now I can, yes, this is what I do, right? One foot in front of the other. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Dory was a Capricorn, I'm sure of it, apart from the memory business for your communications and conversations. You've got the, wow, you've got the Knight of Wands. So for those of you that have uh, Leo children, particularly Leo teenagers, all right? This week they are going to feature for you. They're likely as well, for those of you that have children in general, I actually think it's a conversation that you have with one of your kids that is actually gonna, it'll either get you fired up for something or it will have you kind of say to yourself, yeah, you know what? I do need to be a little bit more, you know, like I need to, to find more of that grit or to express more of that grit. So some of the conversations you have this week are really gonna ignite that passion within you to get something going. For those of you that have, uh, like I said, Leo teenagers in particular, this will be a time where you are, where you're having like really good conversations, potentially about that child's future. For those of you that have fire sign children, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they're likely to feature this week. For uh, those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this ignites you. This really, it's like something that where like, and even if you're not going back to school or college or university. A lot of you look like you are picking back up some learning in some way, shape or form. And this week it's really like you are fired up about this. And that's the other thing that I love about Capricorn energy. They love to learn. They lo like everyone talks about like, oh yeah, Gemini and Sagittarius, which, you know, they absolutely do. They're very studious. But Capricorns actually love to learn. Like they really do. And they're very good at it. 
This week you are acquiring, gaining, or certainly brushing up new and old skills. Great. Uh, when it comes to those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, honestly, I think this is this might be one of those weeks where they get the full force Capricorn, all right? And I'm kind of here for it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You guys have been going through this massive metamorphosis uh, and I really feel that this might be one of those weeks where you're like, you know what, I have been too quiet, too timid, too tempered in my approach to things. Well, <laughs> and this like this week, they are going to get the, the Capricorn that I know is in there. Um, and quite bloody rightly so, whatever you're really passionate about, you're speaking up this week and it's like, when people hear this, I think there might be a moment where it's like, whoa, okay, didn't expect that, but wow. Uh, for those of you that are uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, especially those of you that are just embarking on something new, you've got it, right? This is the path, hold to it. Do not let anything deter you this week. And like I said, play that long game. You're so good at that, all right? Like that's where you lean in this week. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, honestly, for some of you, this could literally be you getting, in, getting into or back into doing something very physical. Uh, for some of you, this could be anything from gardening right through to, I mean, if it's gonna be running or cycling, this will be something that you have already got a lot of experience on. So it's like you're returning back to some sport or activity that you love. And for a select few of you, there's a conversation this week that's gonna see you saying, you know what, this feels really scary to do, but it feels like the right path. You're aligning with a group of people here. It's not just you on your own, you're doing this with others. For your love and relations, you've got the tower card. Okay, so not the easiest of energies, but look, you've got this with the seven of pentacles. So for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is you guys, maybe some long-term plan that you had. It comes not under fire, but it's like you're having to maybe make a really quick adjustment or adapt adaptation um, faster than you had imagined. And this may very well be what the strength card is about. It's like, you know, maybe you and your partner would say, yes, you know what, in two to three years, we're gonna do this, this, and this. And the universe says, no, you're probably doing that in the next six months. And it's like, uh, 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 uh okay. <laughs> right, so you're having to really jump in and summon that courage because it goes against all of your usual instincts which are make sure everything is steady and secure make sure the money is flowing make sure the resources and the you know the material world is done properly so that we can continue to grow flourish and thrive to suddenly have to dip into the savings to do you know to make some really quick move it's, it's very like ooh, ooh, i don't know if this works for me but there's a potential that it could. And like I said, it will be one of your kids. If you've got children, it will be one of your kids that leads the way and says, you know, you know, sometimes kids have the most amazing, and it's because they're still connected to source, right? And they don't have that, um, you know, the world has beaten me up and it's, you know, squashed all of my, you know, all of the stuff out of you, right? They don't have any of that. So like you have conversations and they'll say things that are like so profound and you're like, <sighs> I'm an, you know, in my case, 37 year old doofus. You're not, right? <laughs> you're just a little bit more seasoned than you were previously. Um, but yeah, a conversation with a young person could really change your perspective on something this week, which is great. For those of you that are um, single, this could go one of two ways. You could meet somebody and it's like pew, fireworks, right? You're just like, yeah, wow, this person is awesome. It could be that they really, really pee you off and, you know, <laughs> opposites attract in a sense. For your money and materials, you've got the chariot card. There is something this week that you'll have to act on really quickly. This is potentially some kind of travel. It's news that comes from overseas for some of you as well, possibly through a partner. There is travel plans that will need to be made or adjusted really quickly this week. So just keep an eye out for that. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, that's come up twice now. So if you've got anything to, to do with health, 
It's very likely to be your digestive system, your stomach or something that you're eating. When it comes to if there are any challenges, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, I can just give you the roundabouts. For your um, home and environment, there's something this week that takes you out of home. For some of you, this could literally just be that you're traveling and you're having a, ooh, having a great time. So weird, right? So I've just dropped two cards on the floor and the two cards that fell out are the lover's card and the 10 of pentacles. For those of you that are single, it's very likely that on or through your travels, you could potentially be meeting somebody. And like I said, this person will hit you like a, you know, the, ding, like looking in the cartoons. And also when it comes to your finances and your money, your partner's resources in some way, shape or bringing um, news or a development. I really like this actually for a lot of you um, making or certainly up uh, so upgrading some of your financial or home plans. I also really like this for um, some, I mean, it could, it could go either way, all right? I've got to be really honest because it is the tower card. So I'm not going to sit here and say like, it'll all be roses for everybody because it may not. This could be for a select few of you, maybe there's a problem with the partner's job or resources, but it could just as easily be that the partner's money or resources goes through an upswing in some way. So maybe one of you's getting promoted, maybe one of you's getting a pay rise, very possible. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it takes up, how it takes, uh, how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.